We have discussed the linear models and the transactional models of communication. Now, let's proceed with an interactive model of communication, particularly the osgood scram model of communication. Charles Osgood and Wilbur Scram, both experts in their fields, developed their model of communication in 1954. Osgood and Scram's model of communication is a widely known interactive model, highlighting that communication is reciprocal and equal, as communication is a two-way street. The model consists of two interpreters who alternate positions as the sender and the receiver. Each of the interpreters can both receive and send messages, hence, there is a constant exchange of messages between them. In the model, both interpreters encode and decode each other's messages, not in a simultaneous manner, but rather in a cyclical fashion, as they take turns in providing feedback. Also, the model stresses that messages require interpretation, in which encoding, decoding, and interpreting are the three steps for communication. It showcases that humans are active communicators and that communication is complex. On the other hand, the field of experience of the interpreters determines the way they interpret the messages they receive from each other. And it is also to take note that the presence of a semantic barrier is also a key principle of the model, wherein such barriers would distort the messages. To elaborate on this, let us use the skit presented earlier. The classified interpreters in the communication event were 1. Miss Moreno and 2. The audience. For elaboration, we will be referring to Mr. Ligario himself as the audience. Mr. Ligario is an accountant at the same company where Ms. Moreno works as an HR manager. The field of experience of both of them would revolve around the work culture of the company, considering that despite having different departments, they share a joint corporate mission, vision, and core values. Yet it is also to consider that the nature of their jobs is different and they live distinct lives and experiences outside work. Thus setting a semantic barrier between them. What does Mr. Ligario know that Ms. Moreno doesn't know, and vice versa? As Mr. Ligario asked a question regarding the infamous phrase about the HR department, from where do you think this information is from? How did Mr. Ligario acquire the phrase? Well, one thing for sure is that the acquisition of the phrase roots in Mr. Ligario's field of experience. So by this, Mr. Ligario already has a stance. Before Mr. Ligario asked the question, we can say that he interpreted Ms. Moreno's message as contrasting to his knowledge that the HR department, which on the side note Ms. Moreno represents, has high regard for the accountants. But for Mr. Ligario, it's the other way around, such that there was actually an issue about a fellow accountant being fired for reaching out the HR department for a workplace dilemma. This information supports the notion of the field of experience and that communication involves interpretation. Interpretation that are impacted by field of experience. After Mr. Ligario asked a question, at that point, a communication cycle had already occurred. This supports the concept of the model that communication is a two-way street and that communication is circular, reciprocal, and equal. Moving forward, Ms. Moreno addresses the question starting with an element of credibility that she said she has gone through realizations as an HR manager for a while. As this supports the notion of field of experience, it also supports the concept involved in the model that communication is the alternating of the position of the interpreters as senders and receivers, or in other words, encoders and decoders. Lastly, the semantic barrier between Ms. Moreno and Mr. Legario allows for the need to defend at the end of Ms. Moreno. Regarding Ms. Moreno's response that there is more to things than what the layperson finds seeming to be true, apparently the fired accountant phrased 
a workplace dilemma that by disclosing it to the HR department made the office realize that the company was subject to damages due to the fired accountant's unprofessional behavior outside the work premises. Additionally, it is to consider that in practice, an HR department favors the entity in such situations. This supports the concept of semantic barriers distorting the messages of an interpreter such that Mr. Ligario would have responded differently if he had known the reason for his former colleague's dismissal. With all of that said, that's how the Osgood Scram model of communication is applied to a communication event.